For this commission, I wanted to make something connected to a film I'd made earlier in the year. The connection was water and nature. I wanted to paint and use natural earth pigment as well. I studied sites around Goul and decided upon a spot beside the River Ouse under a railway bridge, representing the past, the present, the future and networks. I was going to find an earth pigment to make paint with too, so off I went. Natural pigments are fun to make, fun to work with and fun to find. It can become a little addictive, always on the lookout for different colours and shades. Look, there's my spot, by the river, under the bridge, just about now. Here is the equipment that I use to make pigment. A pestle and mortar, a bigger pestle and mortar, a muller to grind the pigment fine, and a hammer to break up rock and stone. Wear goggles. Look, that's how big it is. Always grind pigment wet, you must not breathe the dust. Here are some ground pigments. Ochre iron oxide, orange rust, charcoal, grey slate, yellow ochre clay, red brick, that's cool, chalk from the walls, red iron oxide, <laughs> some green I scraped off a metal spoon, indigo from Morocco, somebody gave me that. The powder needs a binder. You can use this for acrylics or even PVA. Of course, linseed oil for oil paint, or egg yolk for egg tempera paint. Here is some mud from my spot by the river. You can see me dig it in the film. It was very soft. I use a sheet of glass to grind it on. Add some binder, mix it up, paint. There you go. Here is my sample book of colours. Look. Ochres. Darker ochres. Brick. Lovely brown rust. Look at the textures you can get. And the mud from the river ooze. Wow. Try some yourself. <laughs>